Colorado. That slogan has greeted natives and newcomers into our state for years. And there's a small corner of our growing Colorado that has really embraced this message. Natives know it as North Denver, newcomers says the Rhino District. And that is where Denver 7's Amanda Del Castillo is tonight. And Amanda Crane's construction and color really are signaling growth there. And Ann and Shannon, there is no shortage of color here in the Rhino. We're talking about the murals that line the alleyways as well as the side of buildings, bringing in more foot traffic to an area that longtime residents say once lacked liveliness. This used to be a dirt parking lot over here. You know, this was an alleyway filled with dumpsters and you know, trash and stuff like that. Now nearly every inch is covered in color, something that is bringing international attention to North Denver. We have artists from all over around the world coming out here to paint. For some, the murals provide a perfect backdrop to post on social media. For others, the murals offer some background in an area known to encompass four historic Denver neighborhoods. We have a lot of the old mixed in with the new. A delicate balance reflected in Rhino through old brick and new business. Anything north of Park Avenue was pretty scarce as far as nightlife and restaurants and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I love a hot dog riding a banana. That was until 2005 when Rhino Art District founder Tracy Wiles saw potential in a place he says went unappreciated for years. Try buying a junkyard and, and you know telling your mom you bought a junkyard instead of your first house. But it is his home, his Colorado, an area once known for its industry, now for its art. Pieces that tell the story of the past and potential. They're, they're storytellers, right? They can tell the story of, of history, of the past, you know, of the new generations, you know, all those kinds of things. He says there's meaning in each mural, many with an actual rhino emulating the strength and stability of the district. I feel like we're riding this whale of development and, and activity and things that are happening here. And if you want to see these artists in action, Robin Monroe actually organized the Colorado Crush Festival that happens every September, bringing international and local artists to the Rhino District. That's in September of this year, September of every year. We have those details on the DenverChannel.com. For now, I'm reporting live in the Rhino District, Amanda Del Castillo, Denver 7. They certainly are beautiful.